So if you want to become an actuary, you are probably wondering how long is this going to take? Will it be a few months, a few years, or maybe longer? Well, the answer is that it truly depends on what your goals are. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how long you can expect your actuarial journey to take. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so they can get their very first actuarial job as quickly as possible. Now let's get into this video. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, so first let's talk about the different stages or levels of actuary that there are. The first level is really an entry level actuary, and that's someone just starting into the actuarial field. The time frame from like really just learning about the actuarial career all the way to getting your first job and becoming an entry level actuary is really where I specialize in helping future actuaries. So there are many things you have to do in that phase, just learning about the career to becoming an entry level actuary. That's one part of your actuarial journey, and it's very, very important and it can be tough to do everything and gain all those qualifications just in order to become an entry-level actuary. From there, typically people become an associate. Now an associate is kind of the halfway point to becoming a fully qualified actuary. This is the first time when you'll actually have credentials assigned to your name. You'll be either an associate of the Society of Actuaries, an associate of the Casualty Actuarial Society, maybe an associate of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries. So this is when people really start to recognize you as an actuary. Now from there, you'll go on, pass some more actuarial exams, and you'll become a fully qualified actuary. And this is what we call a fellow. So again, if you are working in the United States or Canada, you would be a fellow of the Society of Actuaries, or a fellow of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries, or a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society. So I really just wanted to clarify those three different levels so that we could talk about how long it might take you to attain each of those different levels. Now with each of these levels, you're going to see an increase in pay. Salary will definitely increase as you go through these different levels. You'll see more opportunity the further you go along. You'll have more responsibility. You'll have a better understanding of the actuarial field and different actuarial concepts. So not only are you graduating through these different phases, but you're also getting a lot more benefits as you go through those different phases. Okay, so now let's talk about how long it will take you to achieve these different levels and move through the whole system in order to become a fellow or a fully qualified actuary. Now, like I said, I have typically worked with people that are just learning about the actuarial career and helping them get that first job or become an entry level actuary. So from my experience and the people that I've worked with in my actuary accelerator community, typically I'm seeing that it takes about one year in order for someone to gain all the skills and the qualifications that they need in order to get that first job. Yes, there are some people that do that quicker. There are some people that take longer, but once you decide that you are going to go all in on the actuarial career, you can expect it to take about one year to get that first entry-level actuarial job. Now for the next statistics, I'm going to be looking at a website called Actuarial Lookup and I will link it down below in the description so you can go check it out too if you're interested. But on this website, basically they have examined tons and tons of people that have gone through actuarial exams and gained the qualifications that they needed to in order to become an associate and a fellow. And this website breaks it down to determine what the average time it is that it takes takes in order to get these qualifications. So according to the website, it's actually fairly different depending on whether you go through the Society of Actuaries or if you go through the Casualty Actuarial Society. If you're not sure the difference between those, then this video right here will help a lot. I will link it down below in the description as well. But essentially, someone that wants to become an associate of the Society of Actuaries can expect to take about five years and four months. That is the average time it takes to become an associate of the Society of Actuaries. Now, if we look on the Casualty Actuarial Society side, it looks like it takes a little longer on average. We're looking at about six and a half years. So what is really important to recognize here though, is that once you become an entry-level actuary, that's part of the process. You have to pass some exams before you even become an entry-level actuary. And then there are some more exams and other qualifications that you would pass after you're already working that would allow you to gain that associateship level recognition. Okay, so overall, according to this website, actuary lookup.com, we're finding that it does take a bit longer in order to achieve the associateship of the Casualty Actuarial Society, CAS, than it does to achieve associateship under the Society of Actuaries. But the odd thing is that it actually takes about the same amount of time overall in order to become a fully qualified actuary or a fellow. So in order to become a fellow, according to the statistics, it's going to take about seven years and eight months for either society, regardless of which actuarial society you 
you decide to take your exams through. And again, these are averages that we're talking about here. For many people, it's going to take less time. If you are someone that just wants to get those exams out of the way as quickly as possible so that you can become a fully qualified actuary as soon as possible, you are likely going to be able to achieve that in maybe five, six years. Whereas other people decide to take things slower. They have other obligations that they need to meet as well. And it just doesn't allow them the amount of time that they need in order to pass those exams and gain those other qualifications as quickly as others. So I think really it's important here to understand that each individual person is going to go through this on their own timeline. It's not a race to see who can get there quickest. Actually, when I was just looking at these statistics, I found something that seemed kind of interesting. So the slowest person to go through and become a fully qualified actuary took about 15 and a half years. And the fastest person took two years and a quarter, two and a quarter years in order to become a fully qualified actuary through the Society of Actuaries. So you can see there, there's a huge span. And the other thing that you have to remember is that not everyone that starts their actuarial journey ends up passing all the exams and becoming a fellow. That's exactly what happened with me. I went into the actuarial career expecting that I would eventually become a fellow, but throughout my career, I decided that that's not the path I wanted to take anymore. So I became an associate, but I never went on to complete all the exams and other requirements I needed to in order to become a fellow. So not everyone is necessarily going to complete this process and that is totally fine. Some employers are okay with that, other employers are not. It really is going to have to be a decision that you make with your employer at the time you decide that you don't want to, if that ever becomes the case. Okay, so if you are someone that has decided they want to be an actuary and you have decided that you are okay with this timeline, and just remember it doesn't have to be consistently working towards your actuarial goals either. You might decide maybe in a few years that you're gonna take a year off and then continue your actuarial journey. There really is no big rush. It's really just about the timeline that you want to take. However, if you are someone that has decided they want to go through this journey and become an actuary, then I want to let you know that there are tons and tons and tons of helpful resources and videos on this channel that are going to help you get through that journey as quickly as possible and at the speed that you want to go through. There's so many resources that will help you learn exactly what you need to do in order to achieve these goals and to make it as easy as possible. So I will link to this video, this video, and this video right down below in the description. And those are some really good starting points to learn more about this actuarial journey and how you can achieve your goal as quickly as possible.